Hey everybody, Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are for a brand new factory direct reseller. Um, so the name of the company is Steel Capital. The name of the knife nut there is Cannon. He's the owner and just, he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I mean, he's cuckoo for Medford Knife and Tool. And he just, he just loves us. So he reached out to us not too long ago. <clears throat> and here we are. He is located in Belton, Missouri, just outside of Kansas City. So 1422 Larkspur Court. He's the owner and the knife guy. He's everything. Telephone number 816-602-0489. You can find them online at www.steel-capital-c-a-p-i-t-a-l.com. Or you can view them in person. Oh, here we go. At Teague Tractor. That's their farm and ranch equipment dealership. I love it. Coming from, you know, a farmer family. My, my dad grew up in Iowa and all nine brothers and sisters ran and, and uh, farm. So super cool. They make barbecue lunch for their customers every Friday. Oh, isn't that sweet? Dum dum. So let's see what knives are headed their way. All right, we're gonna start on the small end of the spectrum here. And that's a smooth criminal. Tumble blade, black handles, flamed hardware and clip. So pretty standard. That's a nice offering for folks who don't want to dive in and spend uh, over $500 for a knife. Slim Midi Marauder, tumble drop point. The sculpting style on this is lightning and it's got a bronze to violet fade. So bronze to violet, lightning fade on the handles, flamed hardware, flamed clip. Then we have an on belay here. <clears throat> Ombelay S35 Tumble Blade. These handles were blue anodized. So you see that down in the grooves and around the perimeters. And then after it's been anodized, the boys went in and faced the flats silver. So it's a two-tone handle. Uh, it looks like blue hardware. Yeah, it is. Definitely blue hardware and a flamed clip. So that's our Ombelay. Then we have a Midi Marauder. <clears throat> the thicker version fatter brother of the slim it has different machining on these these are the two finger grooves where your fingers can slide in real nicely a couple of scallops on the end and this is an s45 vn this is not a knife we have done very many of you see the four on there so this is a, a very unique offering here kind of violet blue handles with flamed hardware and a flamed clip and then a full-size marauder so we had a couple of the full-size Marauders that we held onto in the last run that we did, which I believe was in 2020, and we're still kind of, you know, these are just the very, very last few stragglers of that run, and I don't know when these will happen again. So this is, um, this is <laughs> one of the last Marauders that will be out for maybe another year and a half. S35VN, Tumble Tonto. You can see the blade, it's a quarter inch thick, just like the Praetorian Thai and the Fat Daddy and the knives that we no longer offer, like the Viper, like the FUK Flipper, like the Gigantes. So that's our Marauder, full size, tumbled Tonto, S35 blade, bronze handles, brushed silver scallops and grooves, and a brushed silver clip. So a two-tone bronze and silver. <clears throat> a full size Praetorian T. <clears throat> there are essentially three sizes of the all titanium Praetorian models. There's the T, the Genesis T, and the Micro T, and this is the full size. S35 Tumble Tonto Blade Blue Handles, Flamed Hardware, and you can see on the flaming it's got bronze, it's got blue, it's got violet, and a brushed and flamed clip. And we have two USMC Fighter Flippers. This one's Terminator with violet hardware, violet pommel, very subtle. If this was faced, which means it's satined up a little bit, or brushed, this would have a much more brilliant finish. So that's a subdued violet and a brushed bronze clip. So terminated with violet. The next USMC Fighter Flipper, this is super unique. This is a Rose DLC. Uh, this is not our armor loop. This is a different company. Um, and it, that is not a uh, Vulcan finish. That's Rose DLC. The handles are also Rose DLC and then they uh, silvered the flats. So they went through and satined off the flats. So two-tone handles, Rose DLC, Rose DLC, uh, a standard, standard titanium hardware, a standard tumble clip and a standard tumble pommel. Super cool, very unique. Last knife on the table. 
is the TFF1, that's the skinny version of the Fat Daddy. This was the very, very first tactical, uh, the tactical folding, uh, fighting folder number one, TFF1. And then the Fat Daddy was made off of this model. So again, there's that lightning sculpting, bronze lightning, bronze hardware, brush, uh, no, not brushed and bronze, just a normal bronze clip. And I love that the TFF1 sports a big fat clip that you'll see on the Fat Daddy. So it's got all the bells and whistles of the Fat Daddy. It just has a slimmer carry if you don't want something so thick. Nice. So again, reach out to Canon at Steel Capital. This is their maiden shipment. I am so stoked to have them come on board. I've communicated with him a few times now. He's just a very eager, very happy to have us on the team with him. And we are equally as happy that he is with us. So reach out to him. See if we can get your hands on. Keep watching those videos. People, until next time, peace.